Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey YouTube, what's up? You know what it is, Leo Pazzo. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Today's gonna be a special video. We're gonna be moving a large tank, 240 gallon reef tank, and I want you guys to come along the way. So stay tuned, definitely go ahead and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, and hopefully you guys can learn a few things along the way. So come along with me and enjoy this mission. All right guys, well here we are. We're looking at the 240 gallon reef tank and uh, we're gonna be moving this tank today and it's just gonna be the tank and stand. No fish, no coral, no water, no live rock, no livestock at all. This is just a sneak peek video that I got from the uh, client of the tank when it was previously set up. He sold this to someone else that's gonna be coming to pick this up today and we're at the delivery guys. We're gonna be taking the stand, putting it into the truck and moving it to the new location from one end of the city all the way to the next approximately 45 minutes to an hour away so guys this is a beautiful reef tank it's eight foot long by two feet by two feet a 240 gallon tank it's a beautiful tank and here we are today guys we're ready to move this unit the tank alone is a few hundred pounds and then we have the stand which is again eight feet and um, the stand actually comes in apart in three different pieces here and we can see that uh, inside the stand once we open up the cabinet here we have two plumbing pieces two pvc pipes one's one inch and the other one's an inch and a half we look here in the middle and there's no plumbing there's no pvc pipe at all we look onto the third unit here on the stand and we also have two more plumbing pipes pvc which are one inch and another inch and a half those are coming from our overflow boxes which you can see here they're acrylic overflow boxes and we have two drains at an inch and a half and two returns at one inch this is a euro brace tank and it's looking phenomenal and uh, we're going to get started here to cut the plumbing out so we can get the tank off the stand and into the truck so what i've done here is i just got a skill saw and i gave the plumbing a cut and for the most part we're ready to disconnect the bulkheads and um, carry this tank inside the truck so you can see here already i didn't get much footage of us carrying it out as we were all occupied we needed approximately six to seven guys to carry this bad boy and luckily we were able to get some help from the owner and along with a few buddies and whatnot to move this tank so uh, we got it all moved into the truck uh, you can see all the wires and electrical and everything there that was uh that was ran behind the tank into the wall and we're going to be looking at the sump shortly but this is the route that we had to take over to the truck and we loaded everything in here you can see the glass tank and we can see the three units of the uh the stand that are all unscrewed apart and we can easily carry them over into the truck which we have done here Well guys, here's a sneak peek that we're lucky to actually have some footage of is the filtration system to this 240 gallon reef tank, which is located in the basement of the guy's house. And right here we have a 48 inch by 48 inch by approximately 16 inches tall sump filtration system that has approximately anywhere from six to seven chambers in it with a refugium, an external return pump that we're looking at right here that's drilled at the side of the acrylic. And along with other plumbing such as the uh, plumbing for the drain and the return line back up to the tank. So another cool thing that my client has here is this automatic water change system. This automatic water change system is fed by the RO unit, the reverse osmosis unit that fills up one of these Rubbermaid containers. And then from there it has this external pump that mixes it into the other container on the right along with the salt mix that my client puts in according to how much water he has mixed and then from there it also actually takes out water drains out the water and pushes it directly into the drain sink in the basement which is a great fantastic feature that my client does obviously to save some time and some maintenance so come along with me guys we're coming to the new house we're pretty much in the location right now about 45 minutes away we just had a nice quick long drive and we're ready here to put the tank into the new location here this location is basically the kitchen dining room area of the new client's house that bought the tank 
So you can see here what we have to do is bring in all the stand first and then from there bring in the tank. Well, as I have my great helpers giving me a hand carrying in the stand along with the tank, what we have to do next here is get these three units of the stand and we got to screw them together and make sure that they're all level. So you can see right there, boom, it's all done. We just screwed them all together and along with that we've replaced the 2x4 supports that were inside the stand on all three cabinets. So the uh, previous owner cut some 2x4s as legs just to re support the uh, stand just because all the weight and uh, we just put those back as well. So what we've done here, we placed some green tape on the new tile that the client just had installed on the floor and what we're doing is we're going to be drilling new holes here that's going to be running the plumbing to the basement like the previous owner had. So the sump filtration in the new house here is going to be running to the basement like the previous owner so what I have done here is we push the tank in location centered to the two windows there where the client wants it and then from there mark the tile with the green tape so I can easily mark it with a pencil so in total we're gonna to have four holes to drill two of them are gonna be the drain at an inch and a half and the other two are gonna be one inch which are gonna be the return coming from the return pump Well guys, here's the game plan. We just carried in the tank here, the 240 gallon tank, eight feet long by two feet by two feet, and we have it basically not on top of the stand right now for the reason that we still have to drill these holes right now, and we're gonna be doing that at a later date. So guys, definitely stay tuned while we connect the plumbing and the sump filtration and build the sump, and we get this tank all filled up with water and live rock and fish and coral and see the process along the way. So I'm gonna definitely stay in touch with my client here and as this tank gets set up and we're going to be doing some other work to his tank here along with the sump and all the plumbing as well so stay tuned and look out for those future videos well guys that looks like a wrap for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it we moved the 240 gallon reef tank again no livestock was in the tank it was all emptied before we got there we just had to move the actual tank and stand and i just wanted to take some footage and bring you guys along the way so definitely subscribe for no more future videos like this and uh, thank you very much for watching let me know what you guys think and we'll talk to you guys till next time stay tuned